What's up everybody, Troy Ryan. On the road a lot lately, so doing videos on the road. I want to quick talk about carb intolerance and a strategy to get yourself back on track. Um, remember, coupon code 69 gets you the masterclass for 50 bucks off. Nootropics masterclass will take you to the six year mark. That's the master level on using nootropics. If you're one or two years in and you just want to skip some years, Get the Nootropics Masterclass. It'll teach you a lot. Coupon code is 69, saves you 50 bucks. Coupon code 68 for the Viking Testosterone Protocol saves you 34 bucks on the VTP. Um, imagine what it would feel like to have a nootropic functioning all day long. That's what having high test is. Look at me. I didn't take any nootropics today. I drank a little coffee. I slept fine. My test is through the roof. It's awesome. My numbers are great. I figured out a protocol to do it. You can too. The coupon code is 68, saves you 34 bucks. Last thing, if you need to consult with me on straightening stacks out, having me suggest stacks, everything else in between, drilling me with questions. The coupon code for the consult, for the one call consult, is 65. 65, saves you 10 bucks, okay? And this time, I understand folks want to save money, so I'm giving you coupon codes. Do all that stuff at livecortex.com. Carb intolerance. You know, the pervading advice on not being able to deal with carbohydrates is to continue to not eat them. You know, people that have, um, I think the guy's name is Norm something. He's like a kind of famous guy that gives advice for SIBO, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth and otherwise gut issues. Tells you to go on low FODMAP, which is omitting particular types of carbohydrates and generally tells you just to not eat carbs. Just, just eat low carb and the problem is solved. However, microbiota and general metabolism and physiology in general is not that simple. It is not that simple. Here's an issue. Here's what's causing the issue. Remove that issue and it won't cause the bigger issue. It's just not that simple. Usually when people have intolerances to carbohydrates, it's for a couple reasons. It's because they've omitted them for a while and they tried to bring them back in. And you had down regulation of digestive enzymes, uh, and altering in the microbiota, particularly of the gram-positive species capacity to balance out um, fungus, candida, and then otherwise bad bacteria. So they try bringing carbs back in. The entire intestinal environment is changed. It adapted because you didn't eat carbs for a while. And then you have issues with them because you really don't have the environment to be able to digest carbohydrates and then use them effectively. They start running into all kinds of problems. <clears throat> uh, the other reason that people can't, so that's that's one of the main issues is gut problems. Do not believe you have to remove carbs because of gut problems. You have to fix your gut. Enteric coated antimicrobials, oregano oil, peppermint oil, I think it's natural factors, makes a peppermint plus uh, oregano oil complex that is enteric coated. Enteric coated means it survives stomach acid, ends up where it needs to be, which is in the intestines, to open up and kill bad bacteria and to help facilitate balance. Simultaneously with that, you have to be eating carbohydrates so that you have got some carbohydrates that eventually skip most of the digestion that you need and end up in the colon to populate the gram-positive bacteria. A lot of SIBO is in response to not eating carbohydrates. Um, it could be in response to a, a lot of other things too, but that, that's one of the major causes of it. In some cases, some of the good bacteria, which could cause, good bacteria, listen, can cause gut problems, actually make their way up through the small intestine because there's not enough fiber and substrate for them to eat in the colon because you're not eating enough of it. Do not ever get in a position where you want to do that. So gut problems are the major, one of the major causes of carbon tolerance and you have to fix your gut first to resolve that. The second major cause of carbon tolerance is simply blood sugar problems. It's simply blood sugar issues. You know, if you omit carbs for a while, I mean, this is where a lot of people get into trouble. We've seen a lot of this in the Atkins days and we've seen a lot of it in the early paleo days and obviously in the keto trend where people are having, people eventually develop insulin resistance. This, 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 this is validated. You can go and search that if, if you'd like to. I'm in the car so I can't actually post the papers on it. But not eating carbs for a considerable amount of time for a considerable amount of people is going to make them insulin resistant, despite what you read and despite what you think. And in those cases, bringing carbohydrates back in is gonna cause a wide range of problems, particularly simple carbs. You're gonna have hypoglycemic responses almost every time until you can fix the insulin function. You know, In that case, folks might wanna consider going on metformin 
Otherwise, folks might want to consider slowly bringing in complex carbs that are low in the glycemic index, and then continuing to kind of slow roll, moving that up in quantity, carbs in grams quantity, to eventually uh, fix that issue. You know, that's that's what you want to do. And there's a, a wide variety of other things that you can do to try to fix blood sugar and insulin functionality. But bringing in slow digesting carbs pretty slowly <laughs> Uh, over the course of many months is one of the best ways to do that, as well as pr potentially taking a digestive enzyme supplement to help you digest them. <clears throat> so that's kind of the crux of it all, right? What I, what troubles me is that the pervading advice is, is entirely too simple, and it, it troubles me to see a large subset of like, I would, maybe somewhat the biohacking community, but generally the health conscious community, believing that carbs are bad believing that carbs are bad. Listen, I just want to make one thing very clear to you folks. The more you leave carbs out, if, you, if you've taken them out, you bring them back in, you have an intolerance, it's because you took them out, microbiota changed. Um, the more you continue to do that because you think, oh, bring carbs back in is causing me problems, validates my idea, I should leave them out. The more you continue doing that, you prolong the window that it's going to take you to get better. You prolong that window. I've seen it time and time and time again. You have to start now. You have to start now. You gotta bring the carbs back in now. Are you gonna be uncomfortable for a while? Maybe have some bloating, maybe have some issues, maybe have some energy issues, yeah. But if you work to resolve both the gut issues and the blood sugar issues, you'll be able to tolerate carbs like nobody's business. I went through all this, and at 3 p.m., modern day, current day, modern day, current day, I can eat three slices of pizza and some ice cream and walk away like, hey, let, let, now I want to do some jumping jacks. I feel great. I fixed my carb metabolism and my gut in a way where I can eat carbohydrates at any time of the day. I don't get tired. Uh, I don't have fatigue. I don't have bloating. I don't have anything in response to it. I actually just feel great. And now my body is kind of geared toward it. It's primed for it. It's what it needs. It understands it after the gym. I'm like, I want carbs. I need them. I replenish, I feel good, I'm replenishing liver and muscle, glycogen, able to build, able to maintain metabolic homeostasis. It's so good. It's so good. Now, a lot of people ask me, you know, Ryan, you must be on caffeine, modafinil, theobromine, theocrine, and Alcar all day because you're so energized. Actually, today I didn't take anything. And you guys know me, I, I, I'm a cycle freak. I like to cycle off of things for a while and optimize the hell to my baseline. The reason I function so well for a lot of reasons, but a lot of it has to do with the, my glucose metabolism. You know, how glucose is functioning, how I'm functioning in response to carbs and my intake of those carbohydrates, okay? So carb intolerance is usually a bacterial issue in the gut. You've got to fix that, not omit carbs, and or a blood sugar issue. You've got to fix that, not omit carbs, okay? Anything can be fixed. Everything can be fixed. Unless systems of your body just do not work and are shut down forever, which I find hard to believe, it all can be fixed. Is it going to be a little uncomfortable for some time as you work to fix it? Yes. In the end, you have to do that, guys. You have to fix your gut. You have to fix your blood sugar. You don't want to prolong the window. This is an inevitable outcome. If you prolong it and you just leave carbs out for a while and you can say, oh, I have intolerance, I can't eat them. The window it's going to take you to recover when you finally do realize you got to bring it back in because you're out of options is going to be longer. You don't want to run into that situation. Hope that makes sense. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Remember, coupon codes on stuff. I know everyone's kind of freaking out about COVID right now. Um, so I want to save you some money on great nootropics products. Everybody should just remain calm and cool, sanitize a little more, continue with your life. And 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 so will the government and so will everybody else. We'll see the, we're really at the pinnacle right now of the extreme response and that's going to start to fall off very very soon but i want to save you guys some money on products six nine coupon code six nine for the nootropics masterclass fifty dollars off the nootropics masterclass fifty bucks off very very valuable course to take yourself to the elite masterclass level when it comes to nootropics that's the six-year mark if you're a guy listen if you want to feel good all the time you got to ma manage your energy but if you want to feel like you're on a nootropic kind of all the time <laughs> You have to have high testosterone, okay? It's, it's anti-aging. It's going to make you feel amazing. Your libido and sex drive is going to be through the roof. Your functioning is going to be great. Your gym workout is going to be awesome. You got to raise your test if you're a guy. It's like, it's like number one priority. 
We have a protocol for it. It's called the Viking Testosterone Protocol. You can find that at livecortex.com, and I'm going to give you a discount. The coupon code is 68. 68. It takes 34 bucks off of the Viking Testosterone Protocol right now at livecortex.com. Last thing, if you need a consult with me, just a quick 40-minute call. We've got different ones. We've got executive packages for business people that need longer term constant consulting useful if you're an executive and business person but if you're not and you're someone that just wants to call with me ask me some questions have us formulate you some stacks and work with you via email a little bit to refine them get the regular 40 minute consult and use the coupon code 65 coupon code 65 will save you some money on the consult with me okay so coupon code 69 for the master class 68 for vtp and 6.5 for the Nootropics console. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Look out for Nootropics Ground Zero, a course dedicated to taking you from brand new Nootropics to the pro three-level mark. That's launching next week. You can pre-order it right now for cheaper at livecortex.com. And we'll talk to you next time.